Okay, so here's Lee under the house again. My fancy, my fancy miner's light on here. For the last time, we're going to explain the drop down space. That's the regular uh, paper that covers the floor joists. If you go over here, we see the floor joists. And it goes right straight through like that. We're in between the two main beams that run the full length on the left side, or the one side. And there's the other part over here. So there's this little space about exactly one foot. It's about a foot space between the beam and the the beam in the beginning of the drop down space. It's a two by six. The entire length of the house would be covered underneath here with this stuff. I took it out, most of it. <coughs> Back, all that to this area. I have to trim the edges over here like that. You see the crap hanging down there. I just cut the middle out, dragged it out. I just today decided to leave this section as it is, and I'll take off this crazy lath junk. That cheap, cheap junk, stapled, leaky. This was the cold air return space, for God's sake. It's nuts. Look at the shoddy work. Look at that. Is that nice? Is that airtight or what? Yeah, really cool. And then you look down here and you see. See a piece of it laying down. It's, it's all junk. But I'm going to take the lath off and those cross pieces. And I'm going to put insulation right over the top of that. It's going to save me a ton of time and energy to just leave this section alone. There's nothing, there's no plumbing in there, nothing. So, and I'm rolling. I don't realize how hard it is underneath here to work. Without a headrest right now, I'd be in deep trouble really fast. See, I'm using this beam here to lean my head on. Oh. I last two hours max, and I'm dead for three days. It's incredible. Whew. What else can I tell you about this? Oh yeah, the floor joists, the main the floor joists. Cold air returns are along the edge. I have two on this side. So I'll cut in <coughs> again. I'll show you one on the other side that it's done and bring it in on the, over the top of the beam and, and then connect here with a flex air duct, bring that air duct right down here, dip underneath the big beam, but I don't have to. It comes right up here. Here, you're looking right up at the bottom of the, you're looking right at the bottom of the furnace, that's the filter. How about that? There are three bays. I don't know if the lighting is any good here. There are three bays that feed one, two, three, that feed the, uh, get the tape out of the way. That feed the darn thing. They go all the way across. Two holes, there's three holes in the middle between the two halves so that they connect both halves. Oh yeah, you already see what the plumbing looks like with the rubber stuff on it. There you go. There's a long chunk right there. Big one. All the way down. That's the hot lead that goes to the back. A master bedroom. Ba master bath. Let me go over here and show you one of the air ducts. Well, you can only see it from here. I'll go over there. 